You wanna learn how to make guacamole? Keep watching, because I'm gonna show you how to make this. You have some spicy jalapenos in here, some onions for texture, garlic, lots and lots of lime juice, a little bit of salt to temper the pH and acidity. I topped it off with chopped up radishes. Mmm, you know what? I can see myself eating this whole thing. I like eating. I wanna show you how to make guacamole and give you some tips on how to pick the guacamole, how to cut the actual meat inside the guacamole, and then how the balance of acid and salt play out. Avocados, I wanna give you some tips on avocados that will make it easy so it takes out the mystery of when you go to the store, or what am I getting? You can get them in bags. Sometimes they come in bags like this, of you know, threes and fours. I would stay away from that and I would go to the bin where there's all the avocados just laying there. In there, you will have some that are green. Those are not as ripe. Those are the ones that you want to pick if in like a day or two, you want to make guacamole. This color right here is brown. And what you want to look for is that you can press it with your finger just a little bit and that it yields a little bit. You don't want it to be super soft. If it's super soft, most likely on the inside, it's going to be dark. Let me show you how to cut the guacamole. There's a seed on the inside and it's rather big and it's, and it's got a very tough seed. So the way to open this up, you wanna place this down and then you just wanna cut in between and then you wanna go around the seed and then you'll remove it and there you go. It's nice, beautiful, bright green. You'll see so many videos, people saying, oh, hit the seed with the heel of the knife, which is this right here, and do this, and just don't do that. Just use a spoon. It's, it's not safe. Regardless of how you want the guacamole, I would just grab a spoon, and then I would just finagle it on the inside, and then pull it out. And now the other way, if you want to have like chunky chunks inside the guacamole, you can grab a knife like this, okay, that's not sharp, and then make little squares. So you want to go from the top to the bottom, and then sideways. And then with your spoon, you wanna go in and you wanna like scrape it out. And when you take it out, it'll come out like in little square chunks. And then if you wanna have some more that are more squished or smushed, if you like really smooth guacamole, smush it all the way, smush away. If you want to have a chunky guacamole with some smoothness and then some chunks, then um, this is a good way to do it. This is how I do it. You want to get the tomato, you want to use like Roma tomatoes though, however you can use any tomato that there is, but the Roma tomato holds up much better. And you want to, a rough chop, cut a radish into like paper thin rounds, chop up the radish into like dice. We're going to cut a red onion. Now, one of the things about the red onions is that sometimes people don't like them because it has a really like sulfur flavor. And the way you get rid of that is putting it in something called acidulated water. The acidulated water is some water with a little bit of acid, like lemon juice or lime juice or um, vinegar. Instead of getting a juicer, because I'm not gonna take out something else that's gonna get dirty that I'm gonna have to wash, I usually use a fork and I use that as the juicer and I just move it back and forth. That way I just dirty a fork instead of a juicer. So, and this way you get a lot of the juice out. So, now we're gonna add the salt. Let me tell you this thing about salt. We just put a whole line in there. We don't know the pH of it. We don't know if it's really sour, if it's half sour. So this is the key to cooking, especially when you're doing something that's acidic, that has like lemon juice or lime juice, in this case, lime juice. You wanna add your salt. So you'll add some of it, a little bit, and you'll taste it. If you still find that it's a little bit too vinegary or too lemony or too limey, don't add any more avocados, just add a little bit of salt at a time until the pH has balanced enough for your palate that you're like, wow, this tastes great. Pretty good. And then you put the tomatoes, kind of like put them around just so they look good. Not evenly, just, you know, in like a way that looks natural. And then you'll grab your radish and kind of just kind of top that up like that. 
and that really adds like a textural element inside the guacamole because as you know guacamole is just very smooth and, and it's fatty and it's delicious and this adds a great texture in contrast with the chips that are here. Listen, this is an easy meal cook thing. If you don't make this, you're missing out. Mm. And tell me if you like this orange bowl, because I like it. It's made by an artist, and I think this kind of looks really rad and kind of sexy and cool to present like this beautiful dish of guacamole. If I was presented this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn it down. And if you did this at home, your friends and family would be like, wow, I love it. You gotta try this.